Heretic's Fork. A collar with two sets of metal forks at each end. One set was placed under the chin and the other at the sternum, and the device was secured around the neck. This forced the victim to keep their head raised, leading to severe discomfort and sleep deprivation. The person would be asked questions or just be left there, while the fork slowly pierced through their neck and jaw, and this lasted until the victim could no longer hold their head raised. Scold's Bridle A metal framework is worn on the head, featuring a gag to silence the wearer. The part inside the mouth had spikes, which lacerated the tongue in case of movement. It was used to punish women considered to be nagging or gossiping too much, effectively humiliating them in public and restricting their ability to speak. Blood Eagle A brutal ritual where the victim's ribs were cut from the spine and spread out to resemble wings, while the lungs were pulled through the openings, causing a slow, agonizing death. Scaphism Known as a very cruel way to cause death, it involved trapping someone in a boat where they would cover the person in honey and milk to attract insects while also feeding them the same mixture to force them to constantly poop and vomit all over the boat, thus attracting even more insects. The insects would continuously bite the victim and try to get into his holes until he died. Every morning they would repeat this process, making this one of the most brutal and long tortures, with one man who managed to survive 17 days before passing away. Branding Iron a hot metal stamp was pressed onto someone's skin to leave a mark. This was very painful and left a scar that stayed forever. It was a way to punish someone and remind them and others of what happened for their whole life. Brazen Bull A metal statue shaped like a real-sized bull was used to lock someone inside and then heated up with fire underneath. The person inside would feel extreme heat and pain while being burned alive, and it was meant to scare others by showing how bad the punishment could be. There were special pipes to make the victim breathe, which also made the screams hearable for the crowd, resulting in a bull-like sound. The steam would leave from the bull's nose, for extra realism. Breaking Wheel This method broke someone's bones and then twisted their body around a big wheel. They were then left hanging up high where birds and the weather made their death slow and very painful. Breast Ripper Used as punishment, especially for women, it was heated and used to tear the skin of the breasts, serving as a severe punishment that left lifelong scars and pain. Kang A big, heavy wooden board locked around someone's neck made moving or eating hard. It was a way to shame someone in public, making their punishment not just about physical pain, but also about feeling embarrassed in front of others. Castor Oil Making someone drink a lot of castor oil caused stomach pain and made them so sick that they could no longer hold their poop together. Then they would put the person in a big human-sized barrel and remove them when the person confessed. This could even go as far as leaving the person to drown on their own body fluids inside the barrel. Choke pair, a metal tool that was put into someone's mouth or anus and then made bigger on purpose. The tool would stretch the tissue to the point of no return. Head crusher, as you can understand from its name, this terrifying device slowly tightened around the head, causing severe pain and eventually crushing the skull. It was used to extract confessions or as a brutal punishment. Iron Chair A chair made of iron with sharp spikes on the seat and armrests. The person would be forced to sit on the chair for hours, sometimes days. Keel Hauling Keel hauling was a severe maritime punishment where a sailor was tied to a rope and dragged underwater from one side of the ship to the other, passing under the ship's keel. If the person did not drown or get vital damage from the rusty and sharp wooden body of the ship itself, they would just do it again until the person was no longer alive. It was feared for its brutality. Ling Chi Also known as death by a thousand cuts, this was a form of execution used in China where the condemned person's flesh was systematically cut off. They would take small pieces from the flesh to the point where the rib cage was visible. This would go on for hours until the person was finally dead. It was intended to cause maximum pain and suffering before death. Pendulum A method involving a sharp blade suspended above the victim, which slowly lowered with each swing. The blade would move just like a pendulum, cutting deeper cuts in the victim every time. Rack the person would be forced to lay on a rectangle-shaped wooden rack that stretched the victim's body by pulling the arms and legs in opposite directions. It caused incredible pain and could lead to dislocated limbs and torn ligaments. It was mainly used as a method to get information. Scavenger's Daughter A compression device that forced the victim into a crouched position, compressing the body and causing immense pain. It was the opposite of the rack, focusing on compression rather than stretching. Pau de Arara a form of torture where a person is suspended from a rod by their wrists and ankles, similar to being on a parrot's perch. It wasn't a way of execution, but sometimes would cause long-term joint problems for the victim. Tongue terror. A tool used to grip and tear the tongue, causing extreme pain and preventing the victim from speaking. Ironically, this was often used to get people to speak. Strapedo. 
This torture involved binding the victim's hands behind their back and then hoisting them up by a rope tied to the wrists, typically resulting in dislocated shoulders. Weights may have been added to the body to intensify the effect and increase the pain. This kind of torture would generally not last more than an hour without rest, as it would otherwise likely result in death. White Room Torture A method where the victim is placed in a completely white, soundproof room with no windows or distinguishing features. It was used as a long-form psychological torture method and often caused people to go crazy. Oubliette Dungeon a type of dungeon designed as a deep pit used to hold prisoners. Forgotten and left in the dark, victims would be dropped through a narrow opening, often to be ignored and left to die without food or water, hence the name from the French oublier, meaning to forget. Gibbeting human cages, a method of public execution and post-mortem punishment, where the body, sometimes still alive, was placed in a metal cage and hung on display, usually in a popular area. This served as a warning to others and subjected the victim to a slow, humiliating death. Spanish Tickler, a terrifying instrument designed to rip and tear flesh from the body. It was designed as a metal claw and would be constantly and slowly used on the victim. At the start, it would tickle the victim, but after a while, it would mutilate the skin. Bamboo Torture, a bamboo would be put inside a person's anus and it would be left there. The bamboo would grow really quickly inside the man, causing incredible pain. It was sometimes left until it exited from the other side, flaying alive a gruesome method where the skin is removed from the body, often while the victim is still alive. This extreme form of torture was used to cause intense, slow pain and suffering, eventually leading to death through shock or infection. Judas Chair A torture device featuring a pyramid-shaped seat where the victim was placed at the top with ropes used to lower and suspend their body weight onto the sharp apex. The chair would slowly rip the person apart. Iron Maiden a tall, coffin-like chamber with spikes on the inside that would pierce the person placed inside once it was closed. Spanish Donkey A sharp-angled wooden device on which the victim was forced to sit, straddling it like a donkey, with weights attached to their feet. This would increase pressure and pain on the body, often causing severe injury to the legs and spine until the victim was ripped apart by their body weight. Crocodile Shears a torture instrument designed to cut off the victim's limbs. The shears had a heated, serrated edge, forming a crocodile's jaws, and were often used on metal workers or to punish those who attempted robbery. Chinese water torture. A method where water droplets are repeatedly dropped onto a person's forehead for an extended period. This causes psychological distress and can lead to extreme anxiety and even madness as the constant drip becomes unbearable over time. Thumbscrew a device that applied painful pressure to the thumbs or fingers. By tightening the screws, the device would crush the digits, causing intense pain. It was commonly used to extract confessions or punish thieves and other criminals. Whirligig, a torture device that spun the victim around at high speeds, causing disorientation, nausea, and potentially physical harm due to the centrifugal force. Shout out to these guys who are the first patrons that support my channel. You can end up on this list as well. Check out the link in the description.